So in this lesson, I'm just going to illustrate a very handy method of calculating the minimum value of a certain range of cells where you want to ignore all zeros. So for instance, we have the senior debt service cover ratio ranging throughout the tenor of the facilities. But what if we wanted to find out where we would breach a debt service cover ratio of 1.5 times without having to scroll through this entire row of values? Or what if we wanted to find out what the minimum debt service cover ratio was during the entire tenor of the facilities without scrolling horizontally? There is a quick fix around that. Let me just show you what won't work. Uh, if you put the a min function, you select the entire range of values. The min function isn't going to work because a lot of these values are zero values. So it's just going to give you an output that is a zero. But if you want to ignore the zeros, then what you need to use would be a combination of two functions. So you'd need to do this. You need to use the small function. And the small function, what it just does is it returns the kth smallest value of an array. So if your argument is uh, k is equal to 1, then it will it'll return the smallest value, the first smallest value, or the smallest value in this entire array. If k is equal to 2, then it will return the second smallest value in the entire array. So we can use the small function to select the entire row of values. And then as the argument of k, this is where we need to get a little bit creative. Because if we leave k as just 1, it's going to do the same job as the min function. And it's just going to return the smallest value, which is 0. So what we need to do is we need to use a count if argument here. And what we're going to do is we're going to count all of the cells that return zero values in this entire array here. So that's the range of cells that we're going to use for our count if. And the criteria is I want to count all the cells that are zero. Now, see if you can follow what I'm doing. If it's counting all of the cells that are zero, and then I add one to that value, it means that the total number of cells that are zero and the next value after that will be then the kth smallest value, ignoring all zeros. Because all of these values that have been counted as zeros would then be uh, k minus one effectively. So the small argument would ignore all of those values because they're all the zero values. And then by adding one, it'll obtain the smallest value after all of the zeros. So that's the argument that I'll use there. And effectively, what that'll do is it'll tell me what my smallest debt service cover ratio is after ignoring all of the zero values.